Sometimes it seems more like the city of anglers. Everywhere you turn, people are hustling, hassling, and looking for a handout. Do you have change for a dollar? Do you have change for a dollar? Yeah. This is not just another panhandler on the street. This is Real TV producer Patrick Combs. We sent him out with a hidden camera to show that there are still people out there willing to help, even in the city where image is everything. Setting out to do this, I was hoping to find some helpful people, but I could not believe how helpful people were. Patrick starts off slow. He drops some papers. Someone comes to his aid. Thanks so much. And when Patrick finds himself missing a contact lens in the middle of the street, there certainly isn't a shortage of helping hands or eyes. Yeah, it's light blue. It's not clear, it's like light blue. <laughs> Suddenly there's this huge crowd of people around there sincerely trying to help me find my teeny tiny little contact lens. Next, Patrick tells people he has his boss on the phone and that he needs an excuse to be late. Amazingly, Patrick even gets people to say a little fib for him. But I just told him that I helped a woman change a flat tire. Can you just tell him I helped you change yeah. a flat tire? Yeah. Okay. okay, thanks. thanks. His name is Garrett. Hello? Uh, can you help me change my flat tire? Yeah. Dude, he's a nice guy. You can see you can see the oil on his hands, like the dirt from the car. And believe it or not, Patrick talks one man into giving him the tie around his neck. I have a chance to get a job there in that building, and they told me I can drop off my resume today, but I have to have a tie, and I don't have a tie. But if I can just borrow your tie for five minutes, I can leave you with collateral, I can leave you with my driver's license or anything. I can just put it on, go in there, drop off my resume, and come back out. It doesn't really match. It doesn't, that totally doesn't matter. They just, when, when oh, th thank you so much. What's your name? Josh. Thank you, okay, let's see. Would you? And not only that, he even helps him tie it. Probably come back up. Okay. I'll tuck it in. They won't. Thanks. Patrick even goes so far as to pose as a budding actor to solicit acting tips from a passerby. I had a part in a movie where I'm supposed to play a pretty tough guy, and I had to learn how to read these lines that way. This guy reads the lines, you know, reads them again, shows me how to toughen up, muscle up, move my head. I was absolutely in shock. Say that to me. Hey, buddy, what you saw? Oh, that's good. Okay, that's really good. All right, see, I got that from the way you, okay, the way you move into me is great. All right, now, let's say I bumped you again. Okay, now, what do you, all right, what's your thing there? Right there, really mean. You didn't hurt me. They said, what you saw, man? Oh, yeah, see, you, you lean in with your face, man. That's intimidating. That's really good. Time after time, real TV cameras caught dozens of good deeds being performed by the kind people of Los Angeles. But the most precious moment of all was when a little boy named Richard decided to help Patrick with one very important task. I was wondering if you would help me tie my shoe. Would you? It's so nice to know that there are so many helpful people out there. Thank you so much, Richard. Now that put a collective smile on all of our faces here at Real TV. You know, we had so much fun with this, we may just go out and do it again. So the next time someone wants to borrow your tie, you better be nice. We'll be right back. On the next Real TV.